Hi everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use a centrifuge. You're going to be using a centrifuge for the SNP project to spin down things through a column. So your column is going to be placed in one of these tubes. It's going to have a solution in it. This thing is going to spin, hold the tube slightly to the side, and then because of the spinning, the liquid is going to be forced through the tube and come out on the bottom end. So there's a few things you have to remember anytime you're using a centrifuge and they're the three basic rules. So um, before we get started, before we do anything lab related, we always check our PPE, our personal protective equipment, um, and for this it should be just a glove. Um, the three rules to the centrifuge are always balance, always check the lid, and then always listen. And I'll explain exactly what that means here in a second. So if we just walk up to our centrifuge, <clears throat> Um, it's got a bunch of dials on it. So the first thing you're going to want to look for is the open button. Don't try to put the top open. Um, look for that first and if it's not there, then you can try to open the top. Uh, this is kind of what you're going to be looking into. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to be difficult for me to do with one hand. So I'm going to set this here for one second. So I have, I have just um, unspun this, and so the top is going to come off. Now <clears throat> you'll notice that everything is numbered here, and then there's some white lines. That's going to be super important for us. The centrifuge always needs to be balanced. It generates several thousand times the force of gravity. So imagine several thousand times the force of gravity pushing on one tube going that way. Uh, the bad things are going to happen. So. As I put my tube in, I'm going to make sure to always put the first one in position one. And notice that I'm doing it with the tube hinge out. Okay, um, that's super important as well. So position one and tube hinge out. I'm going to put my second tube in position 16. And as you can see, there's a little line there right at position 16. Okay, so my second tube is going to go in position 16 and with the hinge out. Great. Now my third tube I'm actually going to put in the number two spot, hinge out. Which means I'm going to do the same thing, so one adding one to one puts me in position two, so I'm going to add one to my 16 spot, which is going to put me in position 17. All right, and so this is now a balanced centrifuge. So then I have satisfied rule one. I want to make sure that whenever things are in here, they're on the opposite side and they're balanced. And I show, as I showed you, um, you start with one and then just put tubes into the right and then every other one you put in here on 16 and then put into the right. Okay, so then I'm going to put my lid on. I twisted this until it locks down. Um, these are going to be things that you're not going to want to crank down, but you're going to want to push to their finger tight. All right, so my number two rule is make sure that there is a lid. Some centrifuges will not have this lid. You always have to ask. Make sure, make sure, make sure that before you run a centrifuge, you know whether its lid is supposed to be on there or not. Okay, so then I'm just going to slowly close this, not slam it. These are really expensive pieces of machinery. Okay, it's gonna shut. Um, I'm gonna set my dials. This is my minute dial here, and this is my speed dial here. Um, so it's set for one minute at 25C right now, uh, and then I'm going to start it. Okay, so what I'm doing, I am not leaving right after I start this. And the reason I'm not leaving is I'm listening for any popping noises or any cracking noises. If I hear something like that, that means something is loose in the centrifuge, and I need to stop this immediately and get somebody. Um, I made the mistake one time of not balancing this with rat blood and it was bad. Um, 
So my three, three rules are going to be balance, check the lid, and then listen for a minute after you start the centrifuge and make sure that you're not hearing any clicking or popping noises.